I'm not entirely sure what that was in aid of, but I mean, they've been going a while. They seem to stop and start um, every time a cyclist goes past, and the cyclists are going nuts for it. They love it. The locals love it. So I'm assuming it's something to do with a bike race. I'm going to try and uh, try and find out by asking someone down there a little bit later. But I'm assuming it's going to be going on for an hour or two. But how awesome is that? Right, I'm going home. I want some breakfast. George off at school in his on his little bike um, we picked him up a bit yesterday because uh, it was quite a nice day the sun come out and I said to Lloyd shall we take his bike and it's hit or miss sometimes after school he absolutely loves going on his bike and sometimes only wants to be in it for five minutes <laughs> and then he's got the the hump so um so yeah we took it and um, he did not want to get off. We ended up doing a couple of loops around the village and uh, it was really nice to see, weren't it? Yeah. He, he absolutely loved it. So um, we took him to school on it this morning and pretty much the same thing. He didn't particularly want to get off, but, um, but yeah, it was just really, really nice. So we're now just sat waiting for the bread fan to arrive. Um, he said that we can do a little, little video with him. So um, yeah, we're just gonna show you what he does and why we like getting the, the rolls and cakes from him so much. And he should be here any minute. So uh, we'll just sit here and wait and then we will speak to you once he arrives. Bye. So we've uh, just got our fresh rolls today because I'm going to do some uh, pulled pork. And this is Paolo, he comes almost every day to our village. I see him actually sometimes um, going to the surrounding villages. So, um, business name? Juan Cook Padrino. And basically, I think you, you do the local area? Yeah, local area and it's open, so only local. And okay. in Fundong in the city. Also. Oh, okay. So you go all around. The we have the store. Also. Oh, okay. And that's um, uh, anyone can visit the store. Anyone can come visit. Okay. okay. So what we'll do is, if we can find the the business name um, in Fundao, we'll link it below because um, if anyone's in Fundao in the area, they can go visit the bakery. We definitely recommend it. It's far cheaper than the supermarket. Um, it's a lot fresher. It lasts longer. It tastes better. It's a ton more talent. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. And what sort of things do you sell? I know you sell some, yeah, some uh, all these cakes. Yeah. Uh, this is meat, meat, meat. Uh, yeah, like a meat, a meat pastry. Uh, meat pastry. Yeah. That you can. It's bread, well. it's bread, it's ponco chorizo, bread yeah. chorizo. Yeah. Well, I've had that before. It's really, really nice. I, Every day we have we, we have some different cakes. Yeah. So this one, this traditional from here. Yeah. Tomorrow we will have another big one. Also traditional. And, uh, yeah, see, yeah. Hmm? Basically, so, so that two different types of rolls. Also, of also loaves of bread. Also the big one. This one is is traditional. For yeah. Also. And basically, in here I've got a mixture of the two different types of rolls that he sells now. The first one, um, it's a slightly stronger taste, and um, that's what it's the same as made. This made out of the loaf there as well. 
and um, yeah, that's that's about it. We just, just wanted day. to show everyone that that where we get our bread from, and because um, we 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 do a lot of cooking, like um, on the barbecue, and we yeah, use your rolls. Yeah. And it's nice to see, especially in. So this is the bread we got off the bread van this morning. I've just cooked some pulled pork in numerous spices. Just have a nice, quick and easy, nice, quick and easy bread roll. But as you can see, the texture on the outside is nice, and um, it's almost like um, it's crispy, but it's soft at the same time. But the inside is is literally like a cloud. It's so soft, and I haven't got many teeth left, so that is perfect for me. And then we've got. <coughs> Huge bowl of pulled pork. This has been cooking since what? 10 o'clock this morning, and it's now half five. But it's had 45 minutes to rest. And this is our dinner. We've got multiple rolls, so we can have a couple if we want, but I'm not overly hungry. And um, yeah. So this pulled pork, for anyone that's wondering, it is tender as you like. It's all strandy, it's proper juicy. George likes it. <laughs> it's got uh, garam masala um, powder, chili flakes, pepper. And I think that was it. Cooked it. Cooked it just in the oven. Uh, mixed it, uh, mixed it with um, the juice out of the pickles there, and uh, yeah, cooked it for probably two hours, and it started to get real thick and sticky. So I wrapped it up in several layers of foil, and then um, put a bit of beer in it, a bit of water, mixed it all together and then wrapped it up and left it in there until half five. So that's had what, eight hours plus, plus 45 minutes to rest. And it is banging for anyone that's interested. But the idea with this was, this is one joint of pork, like a big joint, I think it cost like six or seven quid. But we can chuck that into a, a pie, we can make it into a curry, and we've got a meal today, so. That's it. Say bye. What's going on everyone? So we picked up George. We just had dinner. I actually done a um, a curry out of the leftover pork that we got and we still got a bit of pork left over. So yeah, that was um, that was a meal well spent. Should we say it cost about seven quid for the whole bit, and potentially we will have uh, we'll have three meals out of that. So yeah, banging. But um, yeah, I thought I was just coming up here. We got to shut our door uh, into our bedroom just because uh, obviously airflow and all the rest of it. Blah blah blah. And I thought I better shut it because we're due rain. Look at that. The the clouds behind me just look like normal clouds, but in person it is. Looks so dark, so we're it is supposed to rain between 8 and 12. I think we're in for quite a bit of rain, but um, yeah, great. If I step into our house, you know, it might actually make it look a bit darker. I'll take a couple of photos and I'll get Lucy to add it in, but trust me, it looks horrendous. <laughs> Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.
going on everyone? So today, uh, I've actually got a day off, the car's still not fixed. Uh, I'm going to phone the garage today and just check out what's going on. But in the meantime, we dropped George off. Lucy's under the weather, she's got a bit of a cold. But I feel great. Just done um, a goat stew with what we had left over. So in there you've got uh, tin tomatoes, carrots, leeks, um, a white onion. Um, then we got like a shepherd's pie, um, like casserole mix, which I chuck in. It's quick, it's easy, it gives good flavor. Uh, the goat is just what was left over, to be honest. Um, it's the last bit of goat we've got. So that's all finished. Um, yeah, just gonna low and slow and that should be done this evening, but more importantly, my dad just phoned me and said he might be able to come over in May. So that's that's fantastic news. Um, really enjoyed it a lot when he came over last time. And um, at least now we've got a bit of time to plan what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go, because the last time we, we, we didn't really adventure too far. I think mean, we went to Castel de Branco and whatnot, but I think this time we'll go to like Cavilia or um, maybe further afield. I don't know. I don't know because um, obviously last time we had, last time we come over, I don't think George was in school. At least like now, we're gonna have quite a few hours to go somewhere else or do something, you know, where we, last time it depended on what George mood was like and obviously we didn't want to go too far but yeah I'm, I'm buzzing for him to come back over um, but yeah good afternoon everyone um, today you join me on our balcony. It's what is it, about half two, something like that. Um, me, Lucy, and Molly were just sitting up here. Uh, I'm just having a couple of beers just to unwind and chill out in, in literally a, a cloud free day. It's absolutely beautiful today. Um, not really done much. Dropped uh, George off at school. And pretty much lounged about ever since we we still haven't got the car back which is getting quite frustrating now because i haven't really done much work um i'm sure you'll see in this video so far i've done one day with uh clint on the on the farm he was kind enough to let me borrow the the, the van to get to and from uh, i'm going to do another day this week uh, we've been doing a bit of clearing getting rid of some thistles we've done quite a lot of of work really um, but I'll show you that when I'm next round which is probably going to be tomorrow but we've got a lot more clearing to do um, it's made a hell of a difference but yeah it's just um, you know I mean it's nice to have the time off but I'm one of these people where if I sit at home I just get more and more frustrated and you know things start going through your head and you know we just got so many things that we can be getting on with we need to get um, Molly her second vaccination once that once we've um, got that done we can take her for a walk and um, we can go to all sorts of places and bring her with her uh, with us and just just have some more like proper family time because at the moment it's either you know George um, taking him to school and, and and coming back or going to the the bars or the cafes but without Carl we really can't go too far out the village because we can't leave Molly for too long on her own an hour or two is fine yeah so be it but I don't think it's fair to leave her for any longer than that at this you know point in her life she's just too young so yeah looking forward to getting getting her vaccination done um, <coughs> what else we got to do I'd like to start having some more barbecues yeah we've um, decided if you remember a few videos back I made a video where I took George just up there um, it's a small little park um, but I think that's the best place to take Molly out on her first sort of walk and Lucy thinks the same we have a nice little picnic George can go on his bike again and that's a nice afternoon now isn't it 
Yeah, if we get some, um, if we get some wood, um, they've got a bar barbecue area up there. Nice. Uh, I don't think many people go up there. No. If they do, it's probably in the evening. It's always been quiet when we've been up, isn't it? Yeah. So we got that. Um, there's this balcony area is the last part of like the red paint, the horrible red paint that's outdoors. I'll um. I've actually still got all, because I'm actually using my old phone because I, I smashed my new one. Um, I've got all the old photos on here from um, when we done the house up, when we first got it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that would be, this would be a good job done, get get this paint. It's not a big area, I just run out of paint. That wouldn't use up a lot of paint either. No, I'd probably need a litre. And then you want to just do blue. The bottom of the front of the bottom house. Of the front of the house, yeah. I mean, it's not old. The, the house looks like it was pa probably painted about five, six years ago. Um, but I, I want to do the bottom bit with the rest of the theme of the house. It's quite loud, it's quite in your face, but yeah, I don't care. It's what, what, what we like, isn't it? It gives it a fresh look. Yeah, it, it does. It gives it, makes it a lot more brighter and it makes it stand out for the right reasons yeah. rather than the wrong reasons. It's like bright green or pink, which the two bedrooms were in here. Then yeah, I'd say fair enough. Probably not, but the blue is nice. I really like the white and blue. Yeah, especially I do. in the summer with a nice like pot plant against it. It just yeah. looks really nice. You don't see it that common here, but like up in like the Algarve or more touristy places, you see it quite a lot. Like, it's like a Greek look as well. Yeah, it? yeah, it is. Yeah, white and blue. Um, but yeah, um, Dad's coming over. Uh, he's just got to double check with his governor. Um, I'm talking about his workplace governor not my mum um yeah just can't wait for him to come over have a couple of beers and that'll be cool um what else i feel like there's so much we've got so much going on it just feels like there's loads of things we want to do because obviously we haven't got the car um so that's the first thing on the list isn't it and then then we can start ticking things off the list and actually get back in the swing of things we're just sort of sitting around waiting for things to happen yeah yeah so it, I, I i'll apologize to everyone watching this now like the the content the past couple of weeks probably hasn't been great because we just haven't been able to get out we've pretty much been at home haven't we yeah. feels like we're just I'm now full of cold again yeah lucy's which, yeah you had that you had horrible toothache from your wisdom tooth and now now she's got like a little bit of a cold it's not it's nowhere near like what we had before so i'm hoping if i'm up here trying to get a bit of fresh air and i feel a lot better than i did yesterday so I don't know why I've got the camera on. <coughs> I am here, but I'm not feeling here. <laughs> Hopefully I'll feel better soon and we can start going out and actually actually doing things again. But then me and Molly like coming up here, don't we? About an hour every day. Yeah, it's getting just a bit two of in an old child or something. And I said to you anyway, didn't I? It'd be nice to sit up here and have a, have a beer or whatever. Because last year, last summer, obviously, George wasn't at school. And we, this is one part of the house. We just don't want George up here at the moment with his age. Obviously, it's very dangerous for kids up here. So we're not going to run that risk at all. And um, while he's at school, it's just nice to come up, get a bit of fresh air and, and sit. Obviously, we've got the courtyard. But until the main point of summer, it doesn't really get a lot of sun out there. So at the moment, this is this is probably the best place for the house to get some sun. So yeah, that's what we're doing. It's got the best views as well. Um, it's lovely sitting up here. It's been, even in the evening with all the lights, the clock towers lit up. It's, yeah. It's so nice. I think what I might do... What is, what's, the, what's the day today? Friday? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So maybe... Maybe if I wake up in time, I'll put the camera hit outside here and do a time lapse to try and get like the. It won't be a sunrise because the sun rises from the over over the other side, but um, at least you'll see it from day to night, and it, it just looks so nice with the lights on with the clock tower and that. Completely agree with you. Like when we first moved in, like we didn't know none of this. You know, we didn't really anticipate where we were going to put the bed or anything else. But um, well, we've said before that we're on the. Um, estate agents websites that the pictures are not the best so we didn't really know much about the house when, until we come to view it and that clock tower is right we've shown you before right in our bedroom window and you just couldn't place it any better could you no no especially with all the lights um from Cavillia. i think that's from down Cavillia's over that side 
I'm pretty sure. Most pretty anyway. Yeah, well we got that. Um, we actually have, we want to do um, a couple of videos which I'm not going to tell you about yet. It's not a surprise, but um, I'd like to keep it all in one video. I think it'd be better. Um, what else? We've got all the festivals coming up this year, the which yeah, we've got to take you along. Drums, yeah, you. Staying in bed here in the drums, going practicing for that. And we were just saying, because we walked um, walked around the long way from Taken George the other day. And um, in the football pitch here, they always have like summer parties, like every weekend. And last year, we didn't know about them until sort of mid or towards the end of summer. So we only caught a few. Whereas this year, we know about them. So, um, so that'll be really fun. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, I want to finish off a couple more beers. Uh, I still want to find my dad. He was just uh, reversing onto a um, onto the concrete plant, so I had to let him go. But um, yeah, get a bit more information. I'm going to plan some stuff for when he's here. And um, yeah, from all three of us, oh, I can't even see the camera. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.